Element Al, atomic number 13, also known as aluminum. Aluminum is a metal that is known for being easy to work with, slow to rust, and non-magnetic. That's why aluminum is used in electronics, packaging, and daily necessities in the items we use every day. For example, this helmet. It has a metallic coating, but if you turn it, can you see how it changes color? These colors are produced by groundbreaking aluminum technology that draws from natural phenomena. This program will introduce three high-performance materials created through the combination of aluminum technologies developed over many years and inspired by nature. This is Toyo Aluminium's Gunma Works, which produces processed aluminum foil. The entire works is a clean room, producing packaging for medical and food products. It was here where an inner lid lining that yogurt doesn't stick to made of aluminum was created. It uses a technique that was developed for the first time in the world 10 years ago, inspired by the Lotus. ヨーグルトが跳ねない蓋ですかええ。いや、しかし、それは仕方ないですよ。もともとヨーグルトは粘着力が強いですから。そこをなんとかなりませんか。ぜひお願いします。え、このヨーグルトの蓋。We received a fervent request to develop an inner lining for a lid that yogurt won't stick to. Using our aluminum, I felt confident that if we worked hard on it, it would be possible to create such a product. So we got to work on it. In April 1995, Sekiguchi began dedicated efforts to develop aluminum foil that yogurt won't stick to. But no matter what kinds he tried, it didn't yield results. He heard about a water-repellent frying pan and immediately bought one. But when he tested yogurt on it, he only got the same result. He tried as many tests as possible, using special materials, including fibers that repelled water. He tested and tested, but... <laughs> It was a series of failures. There were many times when I felt discouraged. It had already been 10 years since Sekiguchi started development but he still hadn't met his customers' expectations. He had been driven into a fragile mental state. But one day, Sekiguchi went to pray at the Shinto Inari Shrine behind the factory. He prayed with all his heart. And when he was about to leave, he noticed nearby lotus flowers in the pond. Haska. 
そういえばハスの葉は水をはじくそうだこれはもしかしたら神様のお告げかもしれないよしハスの葉を試してみよう関口は一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に一度に葉だよハスの葉関口 turned his focus to lotus leaves from that day on he thoroughly researched their structure and makeup as a result he learned that the surface of lotus leaves have countless bumps at the nanometer level one billionth of a meter The air in the bumps provides a cushioning effect that repels water. Sekiguchi then began trying to replicate the lotus leaf structure by creating countless bumps filled with resin on the surface of aluminum foil. In February 2007, Two years after he made his discovery about lotus leaves, Sekiguchi presented his completed sample to the dairy manufacturer. This is the yogurt of the aluminum yogurt. Let's see. Let's see. Mori Tetsushi currently works on container packaging at the dairy products manufacturer. Back then, he was a member of the development team. While our customers had reported that our yogurt splattered, It seems that our own boss once stained his clothes when opening a yogurt lid. Due to that experience, the boss's commitment was solid. So he was overjoyed when the non-stick lid was completed. He was almost acting like he did it himself. I remember looking at him and thinking, it wasn't you. <laughs> the new aluminum foil for yogurt was named Toyal Lotus because it was inspired by lotus leaves. This is Toyal Lotus, seen under an electron microscope. The natural surface of lotus leaves is artificially recreated with resin. In February 2010, yogurt products with non-splattering lids began to be sold. It had been 15 years since Sekiguchi started development of the lids. My encounter with lotus leaves helped me learn from nature and speed up my product development. I'm truly grateful to those lotus leaves. This technology is now being used for new advancements. Note the walls of this hotel in Kyoto. At first glance, they seem to be made of wood, but they're actually completely made of concrete. Wood grain. Beautifully recreated using concrete. This was achieved through technology jointly developed by a major Japanese construction company and Toyo Aluminium. Normally, when installing concrete, a wood mold is created and the concrete is poured in. When the concrete hardens, the mold is removed. But little crevices created by air bubbles between the concrete and the mold still remain in some places. However, when water repellent Toyal Lotus is applied to the mold surface, 
the concrete does not stick to the mold. Instead, the mold's appearance is perfectly replicated on the concrete. I think this is a truly unique molding technology that produces beautifully finished large concrete structures. Because the concrete and mold can be easily separated, we've increased the number of times the mold can be reused. So, a major benefit is that it's environmentally friendly. Sekiguchi is also developing oil repellent products using this technology. The first product is a non-stick film to cover cream on cakes. Because the film doesn't stick to the soft cream, none of the cream is wasted. Sekiguchi is also developing a spray product. If it's sprayed on the surfaces of materials like paper, metal, and concrete, they can repel water and oil. I want to expand this to develop new applications that make food safer. I'll continue working hard every day with conviction in order to develop new products. We're a manufacturing company, so we have to work hard to innovate our technologies. We need to focus on increasing our technological strengths and create unique products to sell. Putting out the same old product would mean we wouldn't be competitive price-wise. We have to take the time to accurately understand market trends, to ascertain the best direction for developing our products in the future. Globally unique, high-performance materials inspired by nature. These products are developed based on aluminum processing technologies cultivated over many years in Japan. The developers continue to challenge themselves every day to enrich our lives. This program was made possible by Toyo Aluminium.